Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to create order test in Visual Studio. So when I say order test, that means you're going to define the sequence of test execution. So first of all, I'm going to build my solution. And because of that, is it going to list down all the tests in the text explorer? Now, in order to define the order test, first, we need to add a file that will define the sequence of test execution. So just do a right click on your project, add new item. So under test, select order test. So this is a file which will contain the information about the sequence. So the moment I click on add, it is going to launch a window where it will list down what are the project present inside the solution along with the test. So in this window, you can define your sequence. So for example, this is the first test which I want to execute. This is the second test and this is the third test. Okay. So just save this test file and again build your project. So in the test explorer, you will see one more entry and that is for the order test. Just do a right click on it and run it. Now this will start the execution in the sequence which we have specified in the test file and it will pick up only those tests which is configured. So I'm going to pause the recording until the execution is over. So the execution is over and you can see the result over here. So as you can see here, the first test which got executed is drag and drop followed by the test alert. And after that, the auto suggest got skipped because there is a failure in the second test. Now in the situation where you want to continue with the ex uh, execution despite of failure, you can configure in the order test. So just select this checkbox and now in case of any failure among the tests, it will proceed with the execution of the next test. So again, I will build my project and run the test. So the execution is over. If you look at the output, you can see here the first test which got executed is drag and drop. You can see the number one. Then the second test alert got executed and it got failed. But in this case, it continue with the execution of the third test that is auto suggest. Okay. So in this manner, you can create a order test file by defining the sequence of test inside that. Also, if you want to execute the same test from the command line, you need to specify the order test file in the test container command line argument.